The first thing you want to pay attention to mechanically for a pitcher is what's your pre-pitch motion? What are you doing in your pre-pitch to try to get momentum started in your pitch? Okay, so what I like to see, and I'll just talk basically about what you work with on, with your pitchers, and every pitcher is going to kind of manifest this a little bit differently, so everybody will look different. I'll have two pitchers here demonstrating this today. So what you want to do is make sure that you have, you're nice and balanced on your mound, your feet a little bit further than shoulders distance apart, and that you're in some way, shape, or form uh, shifting your weight from your front side to your back side and getting your arms going. So you want to have this back toe up, you're shifting your weight from the back side to the front side and you have a little bit of a drag through with your foot. What's this, what this is gonna do is it's gonna get you up on this toe so that as you go to push out, you're driving on this toe, okay? So one way to really work on good speed is make sure you're in balanced position, make sure we're shifting weight so that as we go to throw, we have a good push off, ba good balanced push off foot and our foot's tightly slightly turn so we can pivot open in the middle of our pitch. Okay, so watch, watch your pitcher to see what her pre-pitch stance is on the mound, that she's shifting weight, she's getting up on this toe from here. Now we're going to work on really getting this leg bent and the upper body starting to drive forward and we're swinging the arms out and getting this leg up. Okay, so you have two different parts of your body that you're going to pay attention to mechanically. You're going to pay attention to your legs and you're going to pay attention to your torso and your arms, your lower body and your upper body. Okay? What your lower body can do for you mechanically to increase speed is stay balanced. You can get good push off with your legs. You want to take a nice long stride. Okay? So you have a nice aggressive stride tw towards home plate and that you have a good drag and kick forward. So you're bringing it forward. I like to equate it for the younger girls like a slinky. You want to drive the front side out and the back side's got to quickly come through so that all your speed and energy are going towards your catcher. Okay, those are the things that the lower body can do for you mechanically to help increase speed. The upper body, what the upper body is going to do for you is you're going to really work on most importantly having a good whip, meaning your arm is loose at the shoulder and the bicep and you're whipping the arm around and then you're going to have a good snap, which means good forearm strength good wrist strength and good finger strength at the bottom, okay? So you want to have a good, quick whip, meaning quick arm speed and good snap at the bottom, okay? If you have good drive with your legs, good whip at the top, you get those hips open so your arm can get through an open path, the back side drives through and you have good timing on your turn. You have all those together mechanically. You should be in good shape to throw a good hard pitch, okay? So we're going to talk about right now some warm-up drills you can do to work on wrist snap, whip of your arm, legs, all that.